Alrighty, I think we're just about ready to get going. Welcome back, everyone, to the Dagger of the Alliance. This is Chapter 8 of the Dagger of Azeroth series. Um, I am your host, Huckweth. Mon, call me Helk. Um, and I want to thank all of you for coming back this week. Um, so, let me bring everybody back up, and I'm going to turn up the volume now, um, and then switch over to the, to the cameras. But first, I want... And Shit. hear me. Shit, we can't and see the thing. Then switch we can hear to you. I've seen. Uh -oh. And I can't see. Uh -oh. But that's okay. okay. I'll, give, I'll give him a moment. Shake it off. Yep, shake, shake it, it off. off. <laughs> shake it off. Shake that off. Shake it off. Okay, don't do that. Um. Um. Xavier is still loading for me. Once his once his uh camera comes back on, I'll uh I'll finish introducing everyone. But welcome back, everybody. So what had happened last week was um, we had a special appearance by A. Dufresne 99, Amanda, um, playing the role of Thrall. Um, there we are. There he is. Um, giving our, our heroes a lecture on uh, war and who's to blame for all of it. Um, so let's go through introductions once more like we always do. Uh, starting from top to bottom, may be different if you're watching Lord Fancies, but at the very top... No, he's, he's offline. Oh, is he? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, because of the camera. Don't worry, I'm, uh, oh, it's fixed. Okay, yeah. good. Um, starting from top to bottom, we have <clears throat> Vicariously Awesome, playing the role of the Night Elf Shadow Priest, Mara. In the middle, we have Lord Fancy, playing the role of the roguish Gareth. And at the very bottom, we have Scouty98, playing the role of the Death Knight, Hammerstein. So, everybody, welcome back. Um, so we are beginning right where we left off. The Dark Spear Trolls have left, as has Thrall, <laughs> content with what they've, what they've told all of you. And now you're left <clears throat> to speak amongst yourselves. Let's get a move on. We can't. He won't let us go. He's already gone. But like he 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 left. But like we can't pass. So we'll just run into one of his. Right. He left. He and his uh, trolls have left. So we we can keep going north. You can keep going north if you wish. We need to get to Darkshire. We have What's... to keep going north. What's a Darkshire? Darkshire. Okay. So I'm gonna switch over to the uh... map. It's the, the only. Al it's it's the nearest alliance uh, flight path yeah. to Storm. On our to way Storm to Stormwind. To Stormwind. Yeah. Yes. It's a very important thing. We need to get to Darkshire. Thing. There it is. So right now we're Deadwind Pass. Is that where we are? Uh, Maybe. No. It depends on uh, what Helk says. Uh, I think we're somewhere on the probably around here. Where are you pointing? Like around. Yeah, you've you're around Kalai and Volgor. Right here, Xavier. Yeah, Pinging. about right there. Oh, uh, okay. And then yeah. Darkshire is, like, north. To the north! And Northeast. then where is... Oh, there's Stormwind. Okay. Stormwind is right yeah, here. Yeah, but we Jesus. fly directly from... We still got a little from... bit of a truck to go. The flight path from Darkshire to Stormwind is going to be like that, though. Oh, they have airships. In yes. No, we, no we they have airships. mounts. We have you griffins. Are taking, you are taking a griffin. Storm. Yeah. So we just have to dark I'm sorry, I'm such it, a noob. That's okay. It'll be That's like okay. like five minutes to just a storm wind from Darkshire. So really, our our foot quest to Darkshire is going to be the longest part of this until we. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. We may proceed. Sorry. Uh, so we have okay. to travel to Darkshire. So are you we ready? We finished. We fixed our geographical issue. Okay. So you fixed your geographical issue. Um. So you're proceeding north towards Darkshire. Darkshire. North northeast, I should say. I haven't moved yet. Well, you don't have. Okay. 
Gareth has not moved. Uh. Am I still bleeding from her shoulder? Mara healed herself. Okay. Yeah, it was like the last thing he did before we ended was he. <laughs> um. Here we are. <laughs> Wait. And okay, what do we do um... when we get back? Cast reported. Mm. What? Well, I think that we'll all have different things to report, don't you? We each have our own individual perspective of our of our travels. Perspective. Facts. What do we have? Hammerstein? We, Mara? We know that uh, that Sylvanas blames Greymane for uh, the civilians not being evacuated. Why? Because she hates the Alliance and uh, well, and how did we get that information? I mean, Scouty spent more time with her than I did. Who? I mean, uh. Who's a Scouty? Ha I don't know. <laughs> hey! It's okay. Hammerstein. It's okay. Hammerstein okay. spent more time with Sylvanas than I did. You'd have to ask him. Yes, it seems he did. But here's the thing What have we learned from our own grit? Our own work? Where would we be if not for the ex magina that be Sylvanas? <laughs> exactly. Look at us. We've heard it every step of the way. It's more obvious than the color of the sky what we are doing and whom we belong to. We have no camaraderie. Thrall said it himself. A ragtag group that doesn't band behind each other is willing to turn each other in at the soonest opportunity. Why were we sent out? Why us three? I don't think myself any more special than you or him or anybody else in the agency. And what about the others? Such a task, you think it'd be highly important? You'd want to put your best of the best of the best. And here we are, wandering around, trying to head to the nearest Alliance stronghold, and somehow, by the grace of something more than us, we still stand. We should have died time and time over again. And you know what? I'm starting to think we were meant to. Meant to die? Do you not? Does that scare you? Death does not scare me. Not knowing where betrayal comes from, that scares me. I want us to know beyond a shadow of a doubt what it is we're heading towards and what our objective is when we get there. Exactly. Exactly what I expected. Well, you want to go knock on Greymane's door and ask him if he's responsible for the, for the lack of... Uh... Of civilians being evacuated? Would you like to figure that out? Is that a question you want answered? Let's say that we find that out. Whether he did or didn't. And we go back. And we report what we find. What difference do you think it's going to make? You still think we're going back? Do you want to find that out? Why wouldn't we go back? I mean, Hammerstein, I understand not going back, considering his 
indiscretions over in Ogremar. But you know, regardless of the loyalty to or from whom we were sent, what was our mission, our objective? What is always our objective? To find the truth. No. We're spies. Yeah. Spies. If we think there's a conspiracy, don't we owe it to ourselves and to everybody else in Azeroth to find out? So we find out. I think that we'd be killed before we were ever able to share it with anybody. I'm willing to keep this luck rolling. I'm not willing to stay in a party with, and I point to Hammerstein, with him anymore. Fine. Go without me, I guess. We were we yeah. were in the middle of our mission after everything we had been through. You know, I I and he decides that that's a good time. At any point in his life, he could have explored the Horde way and found what they believed in, but he decided in the middle of our our mission to find the truth that he he had to, you know, then take a little vacation to discover himself it was just too convenient. Him coming back was just too convenient. What is and the I'm not horde? looking. The horde is everything that I fight against. It represents everything that that I have worked all of my long years fighting against. Then why attempt to save their citizens when members of your own race? on our side of the playing field, attempted to destroy them all. A meager number, yes. But you put yourself at risk for another's life. Is that not important to you? It's not a matter of race. It is a matter of elite. I do not care what race you are. I care what side you fight for. Children Does the alliance care? Side. Does the Alliance care what race you are? The Tell Alliance me, is when not... When was the last time you saw an orc child playing in the courtyards of Stormwind? When was the last time a troll ran for office of power? This is not about race. Or, sorry. This has more to do I couldn't about agree race more. than ideology. That's your opinion, and you cannot... The, the Alliance is not one single entity. The Alliance is, is a group of many people, many races, many beliefs. And so is the Horde. The Horde. You have to choose a side, or you choose not to be part of either side. But I have chosen. My reasons are my own. But once I choose, I am loyal. You cannot turn me. There is no doubt in my mind that I am a lion. That I fight for all alliance. Human, Draenei, Night Elf. Then or, would you, you allow know, them to be killed by the actions of those they follow? If you truly fight for the alliance and for those races... And for those innocent people, then simply blaming one woman, one undead woman, for their deaths is not where the blame should belong. If the Horde is evil, nothing but, then you should expect every tree to be burnt down, every person to be destroyed, every village razed. And you should expect that. But this? It's not that they weren't without warning. We knew the horde marched near. And yet, all those people killed. To fight, people need a reason. Why would the Horde want to give the entire Alliance a reason?
I want you to think about this. I want you to think about what allegiance means to you. Unfortunately, I'm the worst person to lecture you about this. I followed my orders to the T for years because it gave me purpose. But this, I do not want to serve this purpose. I do not aid war for the sake of war. I've talked long enough. A hawk crows in the distance. The sun, having hit its zenith, is starting to go the other direction. You should make for Darkshire soon. Saying my piece, I begin to walk. I kind of scoff at Hammerstein and follow Gareth. All right. I summon my horse and take lead. <laughs> <laughs> Hammerstein races ahead. Fuck you, buddy. <laughs> and so the party continues forward past the vulgar ogre mound <clears throat> off to the northeast towards Darkshire. Several farms are passed. And Darkshire's border or fences come into view as Twilight <clears throat> is cast. You notice that there's a lighter uh, military presence here. No guards at the gate as you approach. And this is Alliance territory? This is Alliance yeah. territory. You do hear the sounds of the town, but there are no guards stationed out front. Yet again, a town without aid. As you proceed forward, you know a blacksmith off to the left, but appears to be an inn. And you hear the sound of roaring, but not quite roaring, off to the northwest of the town, which is where the flight master would be, <clears throat> one of his griffins. I rush to the sound. You arrive, well, Mara arrives, to see the flight master <clears throat> trying to calm his griffins. They seem a bit more spooked than normal. Um... I walk up to the Griffin Master and um, I, I look at him confused and I, I say um, is something happening? What's I've never seen them act like this before. Yeah, they're a little bit spooked. There's no guards. Why? We don't have any they, the night brings noises. We don't have any uh, any guard presence anymore, so the noises are a bit more spooking to, to the animals. Where are your it's... guards? <laughs> They've gone to They've gone to Stormwind, dear. Where else? Why? <laughs> I approach. Regards, Gareth, with a nod. Have is someone been, coming our way? Have you been under a rock? We've been on Kalimdor. We've been on another continent. We just got <laughs> here. We have no idea what's going on, but we would really like to be enlightened. Well, I'll uh, 
put it in terms that you can understand. Uh, ghost lady burned down a tree. And we're going to war. So all available men and women... Have been called up. To Stormwind. To Stormwind. When? Three days, I would say. Hmm. It's uh it's not easy. There are dark spear around. They don't they don't attack civilians, but they let you know they're there. You find a a deer skeleton with an axe laid across it. At least they use the entire thing, I tell you. I walk up to Gareth and I say, clearly something has happened in the past couple of days that required, since we left Stormwind, that required them to call everyone back. Now, we may only have rumors that the fleet of Kul Tiris has returned, that it is possible that Greymane may have had a hand in the lack of evacuation of the tree. But we could be traveling the rest of Azeroth for all time trying to figure this out ourselves. We are not an army. We can go back, report what we have discovered, and then we can leave it to our commander to decide the next step. But we've been traveling long enough, and we break to at least rest. Maybe some more intelligence has come in. Maybe we weren't the only three sent out to get information. But right now, we are too lost, and we need some kind of direction. As an alliance... As an Alliance SI7 agent, I'm going back to Stormwind. I... You guys can do what you want. I turn back to the Griffin Master. And I say, um, do you think that they can fly? We desperately need to get to... At least I do. Oh, they definitely can fly, dear. Don't worry about that. These are... I've raised these Griffins since they were pups. I hand him a couple of gold coins, and I uh, step up to the griffin close to me that he's holding. He holds the reins, and he calms the griffin. The griffin, the eagle head, looking back and forth, the lion's body. Very aware, tense for action. But the flight master's hand, petting its head. Brings a noticeable calm to the animal. He leans in, he's like, Stormwind, the bird slash lion combination, looks off, hands Mara the reins, and immediately wings jut out, flapping. Leaves fly up, twigs are pushed away as the entire large animal takes off to the northwest in the direction of Stormwind. Flight Master looks to Gareth. So, she yours? We travel together? Hmm. How much for a ride? Five silver. I pay the man. Thank you very much, sir. Goes into the stable, grabs the reins of one griffin, noticeably yeah, at unease. Motions right. for Gareth to climb upon the griffin. I hold the uh, saddle for a moment and turn to Hammerstein, who I assume is nearby. Are you nearby, Hammerstein? I assume so. Okay. <laughs> you you can't assume you have to even be nearby or you are not. Yes. Okay. Fine. I notice him take 
take the reins of the griffin. I open my mouth as if to say something. And then saddle up. Stormwind. The griffin takes flight. Powerful wings propelling it into the air. And the flight master looks off to Hammerstein and goes, Oh, you a wee one, aren't you? Yeah. Looking to go with your friends, are you? Eh, friends. If you want to call them that. (laughs) Flight master lets out a slight chuckle. With a wry grin on his face. This is some world, isn't it? Yeah. You yes. know, for, 40 years ago, I never thought I'd be talking to somebody who was raised from the dead. And yet, <sighs> here you are. Here I am, not struck down when I stand. It's odd, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, being of an alliance race, but having the complexion of an undead. The flight master looks off into the distance for a moment. You know, I've I've trained these griffins since they were young. They're strong animals. They're smart. Supremely smart. They'd go wherever I tell them to. They'd go to Silvermoon. They'd go to Orgrimmar if they could make it across the sea. What is this war... We're about to fight. I guess that's good as mine. For me, it's my opinion, it's just the blind war. There, everyone wants a war, wants to fight. People die here, there, and everywhere. But for what cost? So their side is proven right. Flight Master looks at. Hammerstein. Did you fight the Legion? Yes, sir. My son did. He was uh he was on the broken shore. Were you there? Yes, a lot of good people died. Yep. Our king. Oh. Our king died there. Flight master looks off to the side. And what do you think of his boy? Pulling this. What would you say? Band of races. My boy was 18 years old being led by a man into battle. A man who had seen more battle than anyone ever. And my boy stood his ground. And he died with his king. And his boy is now leading even younger men in the battle. Caught into their graves. This is a battle that will burn Azeroth. You know that, right? None too well. Just a matter of time before this fuse was lit. The flight master wipes his eyes. Enough about me, though. 
You best be off to Stormwind. They've got a head start on you. Let me get you another one. Huh? I'll get you a smaller one, don't worry. <laughs> Goes into the stables, he finds an adolescent griffin. He's like, this one should suit you just fine. <laughs> Griffin, uh, this Griffin isn't nearly as muscular, but still seems to have the wings and the body type of most Griffins. Mm-hmm. Emotions for Hammerstein to climb up. Mm. The bird, as soon as Hammerstein gets on top, starts, you know, wiggling away. Hey, 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 hey. You know better. Rubs the the eagle head of the animal. Stormwind. The bird, beast, unfurls its wings and takes off towards the northwest. The flight master raises a hand and brings it back down. And the party flies off to Stormwind. We have a head start, haha. <laughs> okay. The guy had to tell you his life story. I had a meaningful talk with the dwarf, alright? <laughs> yeah, well, I'm gonna have a meaningful talk with Messiah's shot before we get there after, like, you know? Yeah. Alright, well, you know what? I made a friend. <laughs> Please. You're never gonna uh, see uh, that guh, guy uh, again uh, uh, in the rest of Ah! <laughs> Thank you for the resub, Mahalk, you dirty bastard. You dirty rat. Enjoy those hilarious faces for yeah, another sure. I like to use them in Amanda's chat. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, all right. So uh, the three party members take off. They land right outside the gates of Stormwind. And to a noticeable increase of military presence. Which, (laughs) last time the group was here, it was a bit... bit emptied. Mm -hmm. Stormwind is now overflowing with soldiers. You land, and you can't step without running into a footman... Here or there. The sun beginning to set. You probably shouldn't be making your way inside the gates. Okay. Alright. Give me a map of Stormwind, man. I, um... Did you say we should be making our way into the gates? You probably should be making your way okay. into the gates. Uh, is there... Uh, soldier, like, walking by, or... There, there's a number of soldiers, and there's a number of, uh, just so much conversation you could, you could easily run into anyone. Uh, did anybody pay much attention to us as we came in? They, they regarded you as you landed. A few maybe, may have, but for the most part, just, you know, like, sure. not, not like... Nobody is, like, staring you down. Uh, I grab one of the nearest ones. Uh, a moment, sir. And the, the clank of armor coming to a halt. Yes, sir! The visor raises. When did you arrive? About three days ago. From where? I come from Goldshire, sir. Goldshire. Do you got a family? Of course I do. Two boys, strong. A wife... Beautiful. Good. Keep them in your heart. I knock on his chest piece. Bangs his chest piece. Glory to the Alliance. I nod to him as he walks away. He nods and makes his way. Three days. Mara's... All the, all three of the the party members have landed now. What? No, at this I... point. Well, like I'm talking about, Mara has landed previously, but 
him or sign his I didn't get my extension from Scouty. He's already late. That's not fair. Wasn't that long of a talk? You know, it really was. It really wasn't. His was quicker. Yeah. His you know. <clears throat> Ugh. Carry salty. Well, you Take are the first one to land. Regardless. That's not the point. You're the first one to land. So what do you do before I do what I'm doing? Yeah. I... Ooh, I want to run directly to. Do I want to run directly to Matthias Shaw and be like, give him my own report, or do I want to try to talk to you guys and get sort of a, a an outline or consensus before we all go together? Is this a trial or a debriefing? All right, all right, all right. Well. I I would like to go uh, see Shaw with you, Gareth, if you're open to it. If you want to see him by yourself, that's fine. But I'm not sure that we should go in as a group. Well, it'd be quite strange if uh, we were all to go in individually one after another, like visiting the disciplinarian in school. I just don't think that... Maybe we all have the same opinion and we'll like what we all say. So it's just a warning. Warning. I will follow you. But wait before you head in. What time is it? It's, it's Might. starting. The sun has is right. piercing the horizon. I say we take the night to figure out exactly how we want to play this, and we go see the commander first thing in the morning. Okay. Okay. So I assume she heads into Stormwind. I stopped the guy, to. and now he's landing. Okay, yep. Hammerstein lands. And you see Gareth. <laughs> Still not nearby. Try to catch up to him. I regard the soldier as he walks away, noticing Hammerstein catching up through the crowd. Hmm. <sighs> I'm amazed that you made it. I'm amazed I got serviced. <laughs> so, we're going to report in tomorrow. Mara is procuring us rest for the night. Probably procuring a way to send me to death. <laughs> so you would join us, then, in this debriefing. I mean, I'm an agent of SI7, am I not? You tell me. I was tasked with an assignment. I will tell them what I know if they send me to death, and so be it. And so be it. Be a lot better for Mara, because clearly she's just out for me. And why because... would you act for her? Why would I act for anyone? I'm not going to act and go just to say what I've been told, what I saw in order more. If they call it upon treason, then so be it. I'm an un I... I'm the undead. Everyone Why turn in any information? What is your goal? Is your end goal to be killed? Is that what you seek? You seem purely apathetic about the whole thing. Is your life that worthless to you, Hammerstein? If you only knew. If I only knew. If you only knew. Sure. I passed. Sure. I stare him directly in the eyes now. I may have the added benefit of being able to appear normal on the outside. But inside, we're not too different. Don't let apathy take you over now. Not here. 
Do I believe you? I believe what you have told me is true. I do not know your alliance, and I will not claim to. Your faction alliance, not alliance alliance. Mm -hmm. All I'm saying is, if you go in seeking death, you may find it. And that's not my intention. We have the night. Think it over. I head into Stormwind. You head into Stormwind. Hammerstein still standing there. What do you do? I also head into Stormwind. Head into Stormwind to the only inn in town, which obviously would be used, which is the slaughtered lamb over in the Mage's Quarter. You arrive into the slaughtered lamb. And How familiar. I don't have it here. Okay. Um, anyways. You enter the slaughtered lamb. Let me open up this real quick. Just no bad. Idea nope. of this. There we go. Oh. Uh, no. Yeah. 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 It's just located within the major score. <laughs> Tables of food. Bread. Meats. However, it isn't nearly as empty as it was on your previous arrival. Soldiers lining, helmets off, armor still on, gorging themselves. I feel a bit of a rumble. Off in the corner, there seems to be an unoccupied table. Alright. Um... Uh. Uh, I I was just I I go sit down at the table and order a drink. The barmaid kind of waves and just just goes just use the pitcher at the table, honey, as she walks by. A pitcher of hard alcohol. I want a drink. Drink. We don't have any of that. It's being used for other purposes, honey. As she's. She continues through, grabbing plates, grabbing glasses, grabbing mugs. Fine. She yeah. appears to be overworked. I sit down and I drink what's given. Brown um. ale. <laughs> Ugh. Ah! Ew! Gross! I push my way through Why? and take a seat next to the bemoaning Mara. <laughs> You notice soldiers at another table, pounding the table, laughing at the top of their lungs. Laughing at their what? Laughing at the top of their lungs. Oh. Uh, no, you could have. Food. I ignore them. Food lines. You have bread. It appears to be pork. Cheese. I start... I'm down in it. Everything. Yeah. I'm not touching anything. I go see see if there's any empty rooms. The food dr drinking is delicious. It's probably the best meal you've had in forever. I'm just drinking. I'm yes. not eating. The brown ale is exceptionally good, even though it is just ale. It's doing the job. This. Has been wintered for a while. All right, Ben, I'll chug your nasty brown ale. Mm -hmm. Grab a mug. Mm -hmm. The soldiers continue to regale each other with tales. You you hear murmurs, just just bits and pieces of conversation about the fleet, about the war. Even parts about the the Legion coming in and out. Nothing that you can necessarily grab onto, but all very interesting by itself, even so. These are not grizzled veterans. These are younger soldiers. They all appear to be 
at the most early 20s. <laughs> Well, I eat my fill. Mm -hmm. I drink a couple, uh, couple of tall ones. Tomorrow. Me too. <laughs> Gareth. Drinking on an empty stomach. I'm not hungry. Sure. I have a lot on my mind. I can handle it. I can tell. What's the matter? Just a simple report, right? You know that's not the case. You like to ask questions you already know the answer to, don't you, Gareth? Spurs conversation. Is that what you want to do? You want to talk about tomorrow, tonight? You want to talk about what we're going to go in and say? Because I guarantee you it won't be the same thing. I'm not too worried about that. And why? Well, I'll give you in the DM a moment to talk to each other. <laughs> <laughs> I saw it, okay? All right, all right. God, my immersion. <laughs> Quit side seat driving. Hell, get out of here. I don't need this. I don't need this. You and my dad, you can't tell me how to live my D&D life. <laughs> I think you can. He's kind of your god right now. I think I broke him, <laughs> actually. Have I um, seen Sign of Hammerstein? Uh, yes, you have. You've seen, you have see him over by the, uh, by the uh, front desk. I care not. Uh, Such hatred. <laughs> Such wow. Oh, I take a deep breath. Wow. Fine. What are we going seeing? I think that we should start at the beginning. Um, I think that no detail should be overlooked. No matter how small we think it might be, it could prove very important. And these details being? Well... We did meet up with uh, the commander of the Blood Elves, whose name I can't remember right now. Lord Lord Thamar. Thamar. There you go. Yeah, well, um, I mean, we started our journey with uh, Lord Thamar. I think that we should report on our interaction with him and Greymane on the on the ships. Um, I, I think we're lucky that Greymane didn't get a hold of us, because I don't think we'd be here right now if we did. <laughs> considering what we learned um, in Ogremar. We have that? to... The, the, what Sylvanas believes, that Greymane was responsible. Oh, so now you believe what Sylvanas believes? No, but I'm going to report what Sylvanas... You're going that, to... Uh, I'm going to report what she believes. It doesn't matter if I think it's true. She believes it's true, and that could be important intelligence. Doesn't matter if I believe her, I report what she believes, and then we go from there. Okay. Continue. I think that our interactions with uh, with um, the goblins at Booty Bay, um, considering their uh... oh god, what's his name? Razik? Razik. 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 Yeah. You mean in Gadget. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what? You mean in, in Ratchet? Ratchet. You mean in Ratchet. Uh, yeah. Gaslow. No, 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 the other one, the one that they Resnick? hated. Resnick? Yeah! No, they wanted, yeah. Resnick. They wanted, yeah. uh... The one that's Matthias to show his left hand. Yeah, right hand, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we should report, uh... We should report, um, our interactions there. I just think that, uh... You know, we... Just, just should, should take it chronologically, um... We should also report the rumor that we heard about the Kulteran fleet coming in. You know, I I just... I the rumor, we saw that. Well, but the rumor that they so, were in, in a cloud of magic this whole time. 
where they've been this whole time. And also our thrall, a uh, wonderful thrall interaction as well. We've had quite an adventure, and I think that we need to go step by step and we report it to the commander and see what he says. He He's our commander. He'll direct us on what he feels he should know, on what he thinks is important with questions. And what do we know of Thrall and his objectives? Well, we know that he is uh, still a very much an a orc commander for the Horde. Uh, that yeah, he... that thing's kind of hard to tell. Yeah, but we know that he's with the we know that the that they're with the Zandalari, that they've um, made ties with them. Jesus, I didn't know I was getting a pop quiz. Um and uh and we also know that uh he is, so far. he is much like uh he is much like Sorrowfang in that he is an orc of honor. He he did not kill us, he let us live. Um so I, so I see good. much of Sorrowfang in him. And um, I, I obviously, I think that you know, not to save it for the last, but I'm 100% going to report that our little Death Knight gnome um, companion over there decided to take a little, uh, a little scenic vacation in Ogremar with Sylvanas as his personal guide. So I think that I'm going to have to report all of that as well. I... I want you to know, Gareth, that the one part that I feel is not important that I will leave out was um, the the fact that we ran into uh, yeah. Aleska. Yes. Did I say that right? Aleska. Aleska. I I I think that the 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 night elves that we found and the explosives and Ogmar, I have to report, but what happened with Aleska is not something that I I felt the need to bring up to the commander. I just wanted you to know that. I I intend to leave that out if that's all right with you. Well, I appreciate your discretion with my dirty laundry. It's not discretion. It's just... It's not important. If it were important, I would... I would absolutely report it, but it's it has nothing to do with with what we're doing here. You know, not saying that I am, but were I playing you, I've certainly done a better job than Hammerstein. <laughs> if you're to have convictions, Mora, you should stick to them. Wait, wait, what did you say? I think my headset just... I'm sorry. He said, not saying that I am, but were I playing you, I would have done better than Hammerstein. What do you mean? <laughs> what? Yeah, a woman should stick by her convictions. If you're to report anything suspicious, like an ally being in enemy territory for an extended period of time... Or maybe an enemy, knowing your ally personally, and possibly having some connection. I I may be a woman, but I am also a Kildore. I'm a night elf. I'm very old. I have learned to trust my convictions and trust my gut feeling. I saw... Hammerstein's eyes as dead as they are. I saw his eyes. And I did not see... I, I, I didn't see a whole lot of strength in, in, in resolve. I saw doubt and fear. And the fact that he his mind was weak enough to be controlled by the Lich King. <clears throat> I just... I... I I know what I see in him, and I know what I saw in you crossed from the table in that camp when you saw Aleska, and it was a different kind of fear, and it was it was a different kind of doubt, and I think I've spent enough time with the two of you journey to where I'm going to trust my gut feeling, and my gut feeling says that 
you are not the hero. Of course not. But you're not the villain either. You may think that Hammerstein is some on neutral level where he is neither villain nor hero either, but there's something about him that I just can't trust. And you, you have more of someday I could maybe trust you. You have more of that. Does that does that make sense? I'm a little drunk. I've had I've had the, a lot of ale. In the middle of and my, uh, my words aren't coming. <laughs> in the middle of this of this soliloquy, um, <laughs> I hate myself uh, right now. You are doing well. Um, a drunken footman walks over and goes, "Do you mind if I liberate this for you?" And grabs the the pitcher of brown ale. I smack his. I grab his hand like like a fucking ninja, and I'm like, "Don't." touch it and I push his hand away and I grab the ale the footman drops his hand looks at Mara you bitch (laughs) slaps Mara right across the face oh no you did I stand up I grab him by the front uh, is he armor he's armor yes I grab his armor, and I pull it down to the table, and I stare him directly in the eye. How many men have you killed? (laughs) He looks at Gareth, frozen with fear. You stand here with your brethren, ready to fight! Give your life for them! Have them turn down their lives for you! And this is how you act! All of you! The entire pub has gone silent. Everybody's staring at what's transpiring. I pull him up by his armor and put him on his feet. Stands up. An apology is to be expected. He looks at Gareth. Then he looks to Mara. Deepest apologies, ma'am. Yeah. Get yourself some rest. You're in no condition to be prepared for battle. That's an order. He stumbles away. You hear the clanking of boots across the floor as an older soldier strides forward. The soldier looks to, you know explain what happened to this soldier striding forward and just takes a right cross to the face. The footman hits the floor. Puts a hand up to Gareth and Mara. My apologies. And drags the footman out of the slaughtered lamb. Did I recognize this man? No. No. Do you recognize him? No. He's just um I I I'm I'm kind of rubbing where he hit me and I'm like I'm I'm fine. I'll be fine. He better not ever touch anybody like that ever again, but you know I'm I'm fine. He's just drunk and he's a fool and he wasn't thinking. It's These um, aren't soldiers, Mara. I know. But our king enlists children. Our king enlists what he has available to him. Bodies. <clears throat> now That's all they will be. A drunken twenty year old frat boy is not a child. Frat zone Troll. Exists. Don't break You it. know what I'm talking about. What is a fraternity <laughs> in World of Warcraft? You know what I'm talking about. This preppy motherfucker over here is not a child. Alright? If he is if he is old enough to get drunk and start beating on random women night elves, he's old enough to go to war and die for, for his country. Alright? <laughs> Like I said, a child. 
I make my leave. Front desk person waves to Gareth, motion his way over there. Do I find Hammerstein still there? Uh, no, Hammerstein has uh, has wandered off somewhere. Okay. Your, your room has been paid for, sir. Little little man, undead type. Thank you. I take my key. Room's up there, all the way down the hall. Be careful, there's a lot of snoring soldiers up there. Barracks are full. They're putting them here. Hmm. I anticipated such. And I make my way up. All right. How many rooms do we have? Three. Thank God. Thank you, Helk. Fucking last week he made me share a room with Yahoo's. Let me tell you, I was not about that. You didn't share a room. We should. No, 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 no. That's my point. You gave me two rooms, yeah. and I made the decision that I got my own room. And those two bitches over there. Well, you were. They had a romance night. You were. You were getting yeah. your own room either way. So. Yeah, cause I'm a girl. <laughs> Yee, yee, yee. <laughs> they beat me up and then they give me my own room. You Gareth, <laughs> Gareth, Gareth, <laughs> Mara is left at the table. Hammerstein. I continue drinking. Continue drinking. All right. No, I got like a little toothache He's from getting smacked around. Drunk and stupid. I'm like <laughs> rubbing, rubbing ale on my on my jaw. <laughs> I may turn in, but I'm not asleep yet. Okay. I'm keeping an ear open. Hey, uh... Familiar face walks up to the table and sits down. Mind if I join you? Uh, a familiar face? Who is it? Balding, gray hair, mage robes. <gasps> oh, um, I I kind of shake the drunk out of my eyes and and I you know, please, please join me. Let's... I I don't want to be alone right now. He looks at you and goes, "It's okay, dear. I know you don't remember Archmage Malin's name, but here I of am." Course. <clears throat> of course, I remember you, sir. And I kind of smirk. He sits down. It's like, he motions to the pitcher. Is it all yours, or may I? I'm sorry, what? He stares at you. Can I have a drink, or is this all yours? <sighs> no, I, I... I had to, uh, to fight off, um, some bandits earlier for it, but, uh... But you, you on the other hand are a gentleman, and you are more than welcome to... To, to join me for a drink. Yeah. He nods his head. Much obliged. And pours himself a tall mug of, of the ale. Takes a deep sip. And closes his eyes and kind of sits there for a minute. Sees little things in life. You know? These moments. A sip of beer. A good conversation. A welcome face. These are always the best parts of our life. You've lived a long one. I'll be dead soon. These are not the best parts of my life. The best parts of my life were dancing around that tree. My niece's Teldris. And those were the best parts of my life. And I take another drink. You see Malin staring into his beer. How long ago was that? Oh, God. It seems like... It seems like forever ago. And yet, at the same time, it feels like it just happened. He nods. I shake my head. I'm like, I can't even keep track of the days. Any 
How old are you? 1250, give or take. He nods. It's like, it's, it's odd, isn't it? I'm 70. And I look 70. For a human. You're nearly 12 times as old as me. Or more than 12 times as old as me. I take his, his hand in my hand and I say, You are dignified and as handsome as ever, Archmage. <laughs> and I, I, I release him. He laughs. He goes, You are too kind. My days as Archmage are nearly at an end. I will pass on the title. We'll pass on my wisdom. I have passed on my wisdom as much as I can. I'll continue to until I draw my last breath. And... <laughs> Please! Please! <laughs> Please, Don't you're so how... Please, you're so close to it! You're already there! Stop, Stop. you're breaking my immersion. <laughs> you're breaking my immersion, Gary. How dare you? <laughs> Shut up! You were just picking your nose on stream and I saw the booger. Get out of here. I wasn't. Yeah. Uh, first off. He continues. <laughs> he takes a long sip off of his his mug. It's odd, isn't it? I've seen kingdoms come and go. But your tree stood for thousands of years. <laughs> It was just a tree to everybody else, but to us, it was, it was the most beautiful life that we had in our society. He looks at Mara. We loved our tree more than most people will ever love anything in their entire lives. Nailin swirls his beer. Do you remember Lord Aron? Of course I do. And my eyes glaze over with memory. Do you remember the day he returned? Anduin? No. Uh. Arthas. Lorth. Arthas. Oh! Oh! Well. I look confused. <laughs> I remember hearing about the return of the Crown Prince of Lordaeron. About how many were singing the praises. He defeated Malganus. Maganus needed to be taken down. And then I remember him hearing the news that he had put his sword through the heart of his father, King Terranas. I can't imagine what that must have been like. But I have great respect for our young king. He did what he had to do. Save us all. Losing his father that way could not have been easy for him. I don't know that I could have done it. I was very close to my parents. Thus, Lord Aran became a capital for no one. A, f a frozen city, so to speak. A ruin. A ruin. How you will. How you say. We, I know, I know, Scythe, don't worry. And then they build a city underneath. Don't worry. He's 
always on me about something. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Don't worry. Aren't you Fancy. Yeah. Fancy, will you control your size? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Malin goes, they build a city underneath the ruins. An abomination of sorts, of course, but they built a city. And then we invade. And they don't... They don't just let it go. They poison it. They would rather see it gone than have us have it. What do you think this war will do? He looks up tomorrow. I think wars will do only what they can. And let's bring about change. Whether it's good or bad depends on the war and the cause. And it's always different. He sighs. This war will not be decided by one man or one. I've seen long, a lot of wars. He takes a long drag off of his spear. Puts the mug down. Emptied. Well. You are much wiser than me. You've lived many more years. I am but what I am. You have been but great. You didn't, just, you didn't just sit down for my company, did you? At something my, that you want to say. At my age, just having the company of someone is welcome. He bows. I hope you find your peace, Mara. He turns and takes his leave. I nod as he leaves and sit there drinking and processing what he said and then as it gets dark i head up to stumble stumble because i'm not a graceful drunk and i stumble up to my room the uh the front desk person runs out catches you as you're stumbling goes all right i got you i got you I, I, uh, I, I, I tell him, like, no, no, it's, it's okay. But then I, I lean and I'm like, thank, thank you. I, I appreciate it. It wasn't just the alcohol. And I kind of rub my, rub my chin where I was, I was hit. Like, yeah. it's just been a long, it's been a long day. <laughs> yes, I can understand. Your room's been paid for. Let's, uh, let's get you up there. The, uh, the front desk person brings Mara back up to the room, to her room, opens the door, gets her seated on the bed. There. Anything else you need? Um, some water would be great. The front desk person points to the nightstand where a pitcher of water and a glass exists. I, right I, I nod my head and like, kind of like, I, I, I couldn't believe I couldn't see it when I first walked in. I, I, I thank him and I, I give him a couple of silver and he I tell, ask him to close the door on his way out. He bows and you hear the latch lock as he leaves and the key removed from the hole. And then that leaves Hammerstein. Yeah, what are you up to? Who blended in with the rest of the soldiers. Yeah, one of the tables. Most of the footmen had ignored him. 
one turns and goes, Hey, you've been there for the whole time? Longer than you know. What are you about? Want some drink, eh? Nah. Eat. They got good pork. Have you seen my complexion? Does it oh, look yeah. like I need to eat? He's, as he chews, he goes, Oh, you're one of those undead kind, aren't you? I am. Wait, right, what? If you don't mind me asking, mate, what got you? Tell you since you've asked. How old is this person? Is he young? He's very young. He's probably 18, if that. Probably when you were very young, it happened uh, during the siege to the Ice Crown Citadel. Ice Crown? That's. During, during the Wrathgate. During the Wrathgate? You and that, uh, that, what's-his-face's, uh, poison. Were you there? Yeah. Putris, that was his name. Putris. You were in his, oh, Jesus Christ, uh, you were poisoned. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm terribly, ooh. No worries. You're young. You see the soldier slump in sort of embarrassment. I'm terribly sorry, sir. You've, uh... No worries. Come to think of it, pride your age when this all happened. I just pray that you stay alive longer than I have with current affairs going on in this world. He looks at the plate before him, the mug in front of him. To be honest, sir, uh, I don't see it happening. This is, uh, you know what they're saying this is? This is the war to end all wars. Well, there will be more. Play your cards right. Live a long life. Try to make it to each and every day. What if I don't? Did you... Is there something after this? Yeah. He nods. Okay. <laughs> Don't laughs. go try knocking on death's door so early. He laughs. Not gonna lie, I'm a little scared. I was scared too. Sometimes you need to face your fears head on. But don't be rash on your actions. Listen, you look like a mate who's uh, who knows what's going on. Why are we fighting this war? Your guess is as good as mine. Why weren't we there when Teletrasil was burnt down? Why didn't we evacuate people? Yeah, but then again, you could have said, why was, Why did the exact same not thing happen when Gilneas fell? You see him picking something from his teeth. You know, I didn't fight the Legion. I was just, uh, it's too young. It wasn't a war for me. Good. But a lot of good people died on the father, first day. My father. He returned. He uh 
made friends with a troll. He uh he watched him die on watched him die on uh the broken shore. said he watched his friend one minute he was there and the next nothing his friend a troll what's so hard to believe that I'm an undead and yet I'm also of a gnome he, we're having a nice conversation he waves his hand you're a gnome that's where you are. But I'm undead. If you were in my shoes and seen everything that people treat me, I hardly get any service in any alliance play capital or hold. People fear me because I'm different from every other gnome. You walk in here. You get service. What happens if a troll walks in here? More or less get killed. Before he could even set foot in the city. He takes his final sip from his beer. Stands up. You have a good night there, sir gnome. You take care of yourself. As do you. Fub man exits. Leaving Hammerstein to himself at the table. I head up to one of the rooms. The front desk man nods as you go up the stairs. You enter your room. Make sure there's no sticky pockets. <laughs> there's no sticky pockets. Close the door and lock it. And the night passes. And that's where we oh. take a quick break. Because I need to use the bathroom and everything. Oh, no. so, yep. Well, well we can take a break, that. but I sent you a whisper. Oh, you did? Where? Where? I thought you saw it. Damn it! On Discord, probably. Damn it! Is it on Discord? <laughs> no, it's on Twitch. God damn it! God damn it, Xavier! It's not where to talk to me. Okay, give me a second. Well, Sorry. I can't put it in Discord because they're all gonna see it. Just send him a DM. Send me a DM. Uh, it'll change the camera. Oh, that's right. Give me a second. Sorry. Yes, you do. Then I guess we'll pick up with it after the break. All right. Oh boy, well, yes, the sir. night has not passed. Okay, night has not passed yet. But Am we I will pick be up. Staring down a garrison again. <laughs> we will be right back. Enjoy your. I'm gonna say five break. minutes. I don't know. You know, we'll take a few minutes. I gotta go to the bathroom. Get <laughs> something to eat. Get something to drink. Enjoy yourselves. We'll be right back.
horde will never die. Alright, I think that we're just about ready to get going on this again. Let me turn myself to view here. Let me. What is. What's going on here? What's going on here? Oh, you know, I just summoned a fell demon. What, what, what I just turned? I'm a new. I'm actually a warlock. I summoned a demon. I'm a companion now. I'm a companion creature. Yeah. <laughs> creature. I'm sure they wish they could see your horn. So let me uh, go back to the live screen yeah, here. Xavier went to the take box out. Oh. Yeah, he took okay. box out. And so the I... horns I'm streaming with tomorrow. So oh, you guys okay. You're just practicing. Is this, this is a... her dress rehearsal. This this is a preview. I haven't molded the fangs yet. I've had the fangs for a while, and I was going to use them for Kane because I got them for Kane, but I never nice. used them. Your Kane makeup was awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. I, I loved her. <laughs> so. Yeah. Are you going to do any makeup for TwitchCon, or are you just going as you? No makeup for TwitchCon. Thank no. God. Because I have to pack either. it all, and, like, I just... No. You know. I'm going to wear makeup for TwitchCon. Yeah. I'm just, just going to go as TwitchCon. me, too. No, I want to go... No, no headpiece. No, yeah. You don't need Always to. a headpiece. I'll know who Xavier, you are. Xavier made me put it back on. No, no, no. No, he is. I'll have no. I'll have to walk up and be like, hi, I'm Carrie. And you're like, who? I'm like, Carrie. Shut the fuck up. I'm going to know exactly who you are. I know. I know. Like, Does like, it... like, she acts like, Does oh, nobody will recognize me. I'm going to be so, yeah, so sure. unrecognizable. Yeah, sure. you know, like, I would, I, I could turn a corner and hear Carrie, and I'd be like, oh, that's Carrie. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, you make, okay, so it's not that you recognize me by the way I look. I would recognize, recognize you by too. the sound of my voice? Yeah, I mean, like, your voice is pretty, you, you have a, you have a, that's not a, that's, that's a compliment. Oh, here a, we go. You have a recognizable voice. Like Amanda, Doesn't Amanda look gorgeous? Amanda, Doesn't she look amazing and yes. badass? And like, Amanda, don't you just want to be her? I, I don't no, wanna be, I just want to be her. Be, I don't want to be Amanda. I, I'm fine I want to grow up to be Amanda, but she's like younger. Than <laughs> we have a problem. I'm good. I'm good who I am. You know, like I'm this dude. You know. Can you teach me how to be like that? Be like what? And be good with who you are. Oh, oh just oh, be a bitch. You want me to do that for you? you? Just, you teach you me. Just, teach me your way. Be a bitch yeah. and you, just, you just be a bitch. <laughs> That's what I that am. How am I supposed to be bitchier than I already am? That's true. She's but quite see, you gotta, you gotta be a hey! bitch She care. abuses me and when she sees What do you I'm mean? Like, I'm the one who just got slapped around by some random dude in a tavern. Okay, <laughs> obviously I'm the... Whenever I say hi, she <laughs> abuses me and when she's streaming. Did I cut up the chicken? And That's not even there? true, yeah. Scouty. Get uh, out of no, here. No, it's true. I have evidence. Get out of here. I don't get need Get out of here. <laughs> right, I gotta go scrounge for dinner. Later. Okay, I love you, beautiful. Bye. Bye, bye. What's for dinner? Bubba dub dub. Pizza. Right. Tiny Rick. Pizza. pizza with pineapples. We put the pineapples on the pizza yeah. and we eat it. You know, I should have made some tea. Yum. 
do the pizza dance. We rap about pineapples. You, you, woo, I don't want to oh, see you wearing you. anything else. <laughs> my beard. Oh! 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 Actually, I don't want to see you wearing oh, anything else now. Why? You better only ever wear that. He wants, he, he wants the four play. play. He wants, he wants the, the crazy. Yes. He wants to grab them horns. What the hell is that? It's a kitten inside a dragon oh costume. God. Oh, I thought That's it was creepy. giving birth. <laughs> it's like, oh my god. Amanda, you can leave your horns on. Do, 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 what do you mean do. you want to see me? Like, seriously. Yeah. Can you imagine the role play that they'd have where he's like, baby, you take mean, off everything but the horn. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa, that's a bad eye. No. Okay, go away. I just thought you just ripped it open. Okay, go, go away. away. All right. Okay, Alrighty. so... Uh, Sorry uh, that my succubus got out. <laughs> we're not. Jeez. We're not. All right, anyways. Well, uh, anywho. During the night, now that we're playing the game again. Okay. Mm. Are we? Sorry. We are. During the so. night, I uh, was perusing my book, trying to find a particular recipe um, that I remembered. Though I had to make sure I had the required ingredients. And look, I do. So... I cook up a funny little concoction Ooh. as Hammerstein walks into his room. I perk an ear. No footsteps in the hall? None. All right. I take my bottle and I open my door and peek ahead out. You see no one. I walk tomorrow's door. Mm -hmm. I didn't lock my door. It's not locked. I try the handle. It should open. I didn't lock it. No, it's locked. Ooh, some foreplay. The, uh, yeah, the, uh, the innkeeper. front desk. He can't lock it from the outside. He has the key. He can. He has the key. Oh. Yeah. Well, he I didn't tell him. I key. attempt to pick the lock. Ooh. Successful. Wow. That is a very successful roll. You they have told wolf. me what's about to happen, just so you know. I don't know what's going to happen either, Carrie. What's this roll for? Uh, that is a perception check to see if the, it's still coast is clear, but I guess I am yeah. unaware. <laughs> you don't I'm know. As I'm asleep. I'm asleep and drunk. She got cold. She's going to have a hangover. The door. Here we go juts open a little bit after the lock pick. You can't sense whether any anyone is in or moving around. However, you do hear a loud sounds like sawing of wood sounds coming from inside the room. You quickly ascertain that it is Mar in fact snoring loudly because of the alcohol. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Everyone does, Mara. <laughs> Are you not? Everyone right. snores after drinking. Anyways, I close the door most of the way. Like, it's closed, but it's not hinged closed. Mm -hmm. uh, I take... I open it. I take a rag. And I get its mm -hmm. scent on there. Mm -hmm. Put it all away. <laughs> And I bring the rag close to Mara's face, <gasps> letting her breathe oh, it in while she sleeps. Okay. <laughs> letting her fall into an even deeper slumber. Her body slumps even further into the bed. <laughs> <laughs> I put everything away. Right. Dad, you get risky. I leave the room, relocking the door, head into mine for rest. The door, fuck was the point of that? Door relocks. Gareth enters his room and retires for the evening. All right. The night passes. 
light cracks through Gareth's window. <laughs> and he's up. Hammerstein, obviously. It's always up. It's always up. <laughs> Just sitting in reverie. I walk downstairs. What's the uh, status of all of our would-be soldiers? Multiple slumped over on tables, what? passed out. What? Many snoring loudly. <laughs> Barmaids slapping them to no avail. The great protectors, huh? <laughs> Front desk person laughs. Yeah, it's a little bit, a little bit too rowdy for their own britches. Hmm. Is this the same person at the front desk that was there last night? It is a different one. I nod to them. Has anybody else come down this morning? Nobody else, just you, sir. Thank you. And I make my way out. Gareth exits. Mara is still in a very deep sleep. <laughs> Hammerstein, do you have any action? I guess I head over to where Prince over to where? The SI seven bases? What? I don't know. What are you doing? It's it's not morning, it's nighttime. No, it's morning. No, it's morning. It is? Yeah, it's yeah morning. you're just oh. knocked out. You're like, get chloroform. You are, you are out. You are out. He mixed like a <laughs> roofie and chloroform with a rag. You chloroform me for this whole debris? Mother! <laughs> I did not okay this. I didn't you okay it either. Give me. Let it play out. Yeah. Give it. Give it some, Give it some room. Let it breathe. I'm not... Fine, fine. I'm Let... passed out, but I'm sitting over here pouting. Let the scene breathe. <laughs> okay. All right. She's gonna pout. All right, whatever. Okay, hammer sign. What are you doing? I guess I head out of my room and see what's going on downstairs. You see the same thing that that Gareth had seen. So footmen, soldiers, all passed out in every which way. Uh. The smell of vomit fills the air, but you can't really Ugh. smell that. Um, I notice it, though. Yeah, you notice. Um, <laughs> and uh, you notice just the front desk men and barmaids walking around. I ask the person at the front desk, has one of my allies taken leave, <laughs> or are they both still up in their rooms? Who are your allies? The two people I fought the other rooms for. Uh, what room were you in? Good question. Do, I don't they, know. Do they have an appearance? I mean, Jesus Christ, gnome. Oh, uh, well. Jesus whatever. Christ is quite prolific. I know, I know. <laughs> he was he's, in the he's miniature an up and room. Coming, he's an up and coming. <laughs> He was in the little person room. The one that had the tiny bed. With six one others. others. <laughs> to say, a drunken night elf. Any other... A human, to say the least. A human? Roguish in looks. Roguish in looks. Mustache? Yeah. Yeah, I, uh, he, he took his leave this morning. See which way? Yeah, or... he, he points to the door. He's yeah. like, the one way out of here, gnome. That's fair yeah. enough. Yeah. <laughs> I take my leave. <laughs> Thank him for the, uh, the direction. <laughs> he went due east. Yeah. <laughs> out the front. Out the door. Out the door. <laughs> go search for oh, Gareth. No. <laughs> All right, Gareth, where are you headed? My memory 
did they say anything about Sour Fang after we left? Like, at, when we were on our way to leave? Mm. Like, if he was to be left there, if they were taking him anywhere, do I recall that? Um, there was no word on what was happening with Sour Fang. Okay. Uh, I'm going to head to the SI-7 base. All right. And, uh, so, Gareth heads to Old Town, enters the Old Town Inn, and a lone receptionist stands there. How do you do, sir? I'm well. And you? Quite well, sir. She bows. <laughs> I am here seeking shelter. Hold on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I know it. Couldn't have just waited for me. Damn it, I don't have it anymore. I have it. Uh, I'm here right up seeking and... shelter from... <laughs> of course my character would remember but I don't I remember it <laughs> can I just wait for me <laughs> it's good <laughs> Gareth remembers what to be said yeah because Gareth would remember what was said <gasps> what is it just looking for a respite from the war. Just looking is that for is it war? Respite yeah. from the war. Respite. From the war. Damn it! Damn it! Anyway, okay. Sorry. Gareth Let's... would remember it, so I yeah, 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 would... I don't want to. Uh, just seeking respite from the war. Respite. Take up the donut. A uh, a bow occurs. She, the receptionist, lifts the entryway to behind the desk. Through the door, sir. Thank you. I proceed. Into... Wrong one. Hang on. I'm gonna take a deep breath before I head through the door. The door opens, and you see a familiar scowl. Sitting across the desk. No, I don't need that. In a familiar goblin. Leaning up against the wall. I regard them both. Uh, I perform our salute. At ease, Agent. Matthias Shaw speaks. You seem, I... you nope. seem, you seem to be two people short. Yes, our uh, party did not adhere very well. Matthias stares at his desk, tapping with one finger. He glances up. What the hell does that mean? I take a step forward mm -hmm. as calmly as possible. Were you expecting us? I've been expecting you. I've been expecting some sort of report. I've got... messages about... SI-7 agents in the field. A human. A night elf. A gnome undead. Death Knight, whatever the hell he is. And I have no idea what you're up to. So yes, I've been expecting you. Of course I have. I take another step forward. Well, 
Renzik stands up from the wall at this point. Yes, Carrie. We came upon many locations and persons of interest in our travels. Though one thing appears to be the most consistent. And that is? And I take the final step forward, meeting him at the desk. Renzik takes a step forward from the wall. I can't help but battle a wry smile on my face. Why are we going to war, Matthias? Matthias, sitting at his desk, paying you almost no mind at your advances. That's a good question, isn't it? Matthias looks to Renzik and goes. Renzik goes back to his typical casual lean against the wall. I sent you out into the field, you and your team, to find out why we didn't get word to evacuate Taldrassil, correct? That is correct. What is your report? What have you found? I reach in and I take out my SI7 badge and I place it on the table. Nothing. We have found more questions than answers. What questions have you found? He looks up through his brow. Why did you send us out, Matthias? Matthias reaches out, takes a look at the SI7 badge, places his back on the table towards you. There's something pushing us towards war. We are not the army. We are not the navy. We are not the special forces. We are spies. It is my job to make sure that this alliance stays intact. Whatever How? the cost. Matthias stares at you, green eyes, right back. Do you think me your enemy boy? Everyone in this world has one. What questions have you found? We became quite acquainted. Does he have anything on the desk? No. Just your badge. Well, I pass it around. 
we became quite acquainted with Sylvanas herself. He doesn't seem at all jarred by that. She's quite convinced that there's treachery involved on this side. I... Go ahead. Matthias runs his hand through his mustache and his facial hair. Go on. I have served this faction for many years. As long as I've been able to. To the T. I've never questioned I have never questioned my place here. But this raises a lot of questions for me. Would the Horde not be proud of this action? I feel that they would be. I have enough experience fighting them to assume that much. But they're not. In fact, they seem quite reticent to take the blame or the fall for this. So you don't think it was the Horde? That burned the tree? Of course it was. Of course they burned the tree. But it's not just the fires that burn the, the lamp of war. You and I know that. I do. You're a smart man, Gareth. That's why I employ you in SI7. That's why I recruited you. I came here alone for one reason. And that is? I'm not fighting your war. What war are you fighting, Gareth? The war against time. I want the end of my days for my own to do it as I see fit. I will not become another body count. My companions, their choices are their own, and they will report to you shortly. Matthias. Adjust himself at his desk. Understood. One last question. Who did the Banshee Queen point at? What? Who did Sylvanas oh, point who to? Did, who did she appoint blame to? Yep. Well, if the king is the mouth, who is the head? Matthias looks off to the side. And gives a slight nod. Understood. He lets out a sigh. So you wish to leave SI7? I take a deep breath and raise my chin. 
I do. My heart begins to race. Shaw. His eyes. His brows up in a relaxed manner. Looks around the room. Looks to Renzik. And nods. Renzik. Brings himself from against the wall. Walks up to Gareth. It's been good knowing you, buddy. Best care. And he looks past you. And gives a nod. And out materialize two rogues. One knocks you out. You slump to the ground. Matthias goes. Put him in jail. We can't have this spreading through the city. The two rogues grasp him, drag him through the doorway. Place a bag over his head. And Gareth disappears. <coughs> Meanwhile, Hammerstein arrives at the old town inn. <sighs> And Mara awakens at this point. Oh, thank you. Thank you very awakens. much for giving me permission to wake up, Xavier. <laughs> now that you are yeah, unconscious. I put you asleep. I now that you are asleep. unconscious yourself, Beesh. <laughs> hey, you don't have to deal with a hangover. <laughs> I have a 1,250-year-old liver. I can handle anything. You watch. <laughs> Hammerstein oh. arrives to... The old oh, town in. But Mara awakens. Mara, what do you do? Oh, uh, I need, I need an aspirin. I need Tylenol. They don't make um, that. They don't make that here. Okay. What are these things I, you're speaking of? Hair of the dog. Yes, you go. Yeah. All right. I, uh, I, I'm slow to get up, and um, I, uh, I go to Gareth's, room and I, I, uh, I knock on the door. There is no answer. I uh, get myself together, get my things, and head downstairs, expecting to see him somewhere downstairs. You see soldiers slowly coming out of sleep. Just, there's a lot of vomiting. Uh, Ew. You're, uh, you're kind of horrified by the fact that there can be this much vomit in one area. <laughs> Um, I look at the guy who smacked me, and I kind of laugh that he's f***ing now. <laughs> yeah. He does not even regard you as he just continues to... Probably doesn't even remember. Ralph onto the ground. Um, the uh, You can see the front desk person just, like, bewildered. By <laughs> Get him up, bitch! Like, <laughs> what are we doing here? Um... <laughs> And he looks to you and goes, oh, your friend was here a few hours ago. My friend? Yeah. The, uh... The, uh... Human? Mustache? Uh, the, uh... The, yeah, you're... You had another one, too, wasn't... Uh... Maybe a... Small blue? Yeah, yeah, the, the undead man. He's yes. not my friend. Well, He's not... not my friend. Well, not for me to, you know, 
decide up on that. What about my 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 other companion? He left. Uh, mustache. Uh, they meant. both left. He left. They both left. Uh, what early. time? Wait. What time is it? When did they leave? It's early afternoon, dear. They oh my god! Morning. And I rush out. I I just rush out. I immediately just I book it out the door. Mara books it out of the door. I yeah. book it out the door. Hammerstein finally arriving to the old town inn with his little legs arrives at the same point that Mara <laughs> does. Huh. I thought I was already there. No, you weren't. You were on your I... way. You were, you were looking for me and you couldn't find me. Yeah. I I I Hammerstein. And I'm like I'm like, um Yo Where's where's Gareth? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I was just I, told that you left together. I, I, he was already out the door and out of sight when I got up. Have you already seen Commander Shaw? No, but he probably has. We need to go right now. Okay. All right. Do you, do you go into the old town inn? Yeah. Okay. Front desk person standing there goes, Welcome to the Old Town Inn. How can uh, for a respite from the war? I, uh, I need to see Commander Shaw immediately. She looks at you with disdain. Fuck your Dane. She goes, Of course. Lifts the <laughs> counter, opens the door. To the back, and then you walk. Both Hammerstein and Mara. Give me a second here. Uh, as I walk past the I, front desk, I'm like, sorry. I approach uh, the front desk cautiously. Um, why am I not moving? I, Move, I can't woman. control you yet. I can't control you. I can't allow you to control yourself yet. Hang <laughs> You're on. right. You can't control me. Oh, you I'm can't. A You're now. not my dad. Yeah, no. Uh, <laughs> you enter You're and you, you see Hammerstein, or you, you see Renzik and Matthias Shaw standing. Standing? Or you see Renzik standing against the wall and Matthias Shaw I... sitting at his okay. desk. I walk up to his desk. I properly, you know, salute him. You know, what's up? I don't, I don't know how they salute me. <laughs> I don't know. I'm what's up? Know. Okay. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how night. It's like the night elf sal alliance salute. <laughs> Shaw, Shaw, like gives a. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's okay. Okay. I don't know what the night elves. Um, it's okay. Don't worry is. about. Don't worry about your salute. Just, okay. Just continue. All right. Um. Um. Uh, Commander. Um. I. I. I am here to. Uh, I'm. I'm. I'm here uh, for my debriefing. But. Uh, it. It. Uh, are. Are we the first to come visit you? Are you the first? No. No, you're, Gareth uh, was here. Yes, your uh, your companion Gareth was here. He uh, he decided he was done. Done. And Shaw lifts his SI seven badge and puts it to the table. I look at the badge and I say, "Oh, well, I I'd like to say that this was a." surprise but it's not as you might find um is hammerstein still with me he's he's in the room with you leaning up against the wall <laughs> oh shit okay um i look to hammerstein i look to oh, hammerstein i look to hammerstein and i'm and i uh i say he may not be the only one who turns in his badge after this debriefing and then i look back at at commander shaw um what what did he say to you sir I, I i thought that we would all come to this debriefing together i'm i'm very surprised he decided to meet with you he wanted we... he wanted to 
relinquish his duties, and he has. But I just talked to him last night. He he said he wanted us to all talk together to you. You sent us on this mission together. It doesn't make sense. Shaw looks at you and goes, listen, I know not what his motivations were. I only know what he came in here and said. So all he did was put his badge down and say he was done? He didn't debrief you on, on our journey at all? We didn't get any other information on it. I look around bewildered and... Um... So, a debriefing. He holds out his hand. Go on. I look... I look over at Hammerstein and I take a step back. I'd prefer, uh, I'd prefer to go last if you don't mind, Hammerstein. Whoa, I can hear myself. Yeah, I know. Echo, echo, echo. Um, so Shot, like, takes a deep breath, seemingly exasperated. I don't have all day. Whoever is going to debrief me first, go now. So I wave at Hammerstein, like. All right. Before, let me get ask you this first. What has Gareth told you? What do you know already? Since clearly a man of your stature would have spies everywhere, in any corner of this. Shaw. We don't want to waste his time repeating it. So. Shaw brings I his, make sure. Shaw brings his hand to his forehead. The man resigned. He left. Can we fucking get on with this? <laughs> Fine. We have no Kate, no the uh, uh, no leads onto where the mage was that we followed that night, and we have no suspicion that it was with the horde. Because clearly, some some of us needed to take action beyond just being a spy and trying to listen. But infiltrate deeper into uncharted waters, to say the least. Shaw looks at Hammerstein, then turns to Mara. <laughs> um i i step forward um i'm sorry sir i just thought it was it would be better to to start off with uh with the person who was uh who, with the person who was least informed of uh of what our situation was um i i can debrief you a little bit a little bit more we we're on a very long journey. We met with several horde leaders. And during that time, we learned very little other than this war is going to be ugly for both sides. Okay. Now, my companion over here started out with us, but somewhere along our journey, he lost his way. And it was in the heart of Ogremar that he decided to get real close with Sylvanas. Uh, at this part in our journey, he actually broke from us. Gareth and I went uh, on our way to try to find an alliance-controlled territory. And Hammerstein stayed in Ogremar um, underneath Sylvanas and at her behest. I... I would be careful what you share with him, Commander. I strongly believe him to be now converted horde spy. He knows this. This isn't a shock to him. I've made my intentions very clear to him throughout our journey. I I have uh, I have discovered that Sylvanas was the hand that lit the tree. Her hand held the torch that lit the tree. Beyond that, I I don't really 
there's nothing else that I could report to you. Um, we, we as Alliance, we need to stay strong. I am behind you 100%. Anything else that you need, I, I am, I am your agent. And, um, the only other thing that I can tell you is that it's a ga it's a damn good thing we have our gold tier and fleet back because we're going to need it in the days to come. Matthias looks to you and nods. Thank you for the report, Agent. He turns to Hammerstein. Who's behind this? I can't say for certain. Who would you say uncertainly? I have no leads, and thus I'm not going to point any fingers for any accusations. I don't pay you money to be brainless robots. Who the fuck do you think this is? I think it's Sylvanas, Commander. I've always known that this is, is what she's doing, and I will kill her myself next time I see her. Sylvanas with her magic. She couldn't fell Malfurion by herself. If there were... It, it should be no shock to you, Commander, that there are spies within the Alliance for the Horde. Now, who they are, we may never know. And, you know. Are they still here? We don't know. Flushing out a mole was not what you sent us for. You sent us to find out why the... Citizens weren't evacuated. And you are placing this all on the feet of Sylvanas. She burned the tree that had civilians. And while she couldn't have known that the civilians weren't evacuated, it really doesn't erase her responsibility for the destruction of the tree, in my eyes. Portals... <laughs> Sometimes portals don't work. Matthias. We have a war to focus on now. Turns back to Hammerstein. Best guess. Give it. My best guess? Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to say Grammy. What? For one reason. We weren't at the, the Calderay side, helping them fend off the Horde. And we weren't there when Gilneas fell. Now, is it a long shot? Maybe. But it's better than just blaming it on one person. I, that I has slam my other hand. motives. And I from slam someone my hand who's. On the table. I strongly disagree with Hammerstein. Greymane is a proud alliance leader, and he could not be responsible for the destruction of his own people. Sylvanas put. But these was he not part of the head. alliance when Gilneas fell? He is part of the Where alliance. Where were our now. armies? Sylvanas put these thoughts in his head, Commander. He can't be trusted. I, I don't think you should listen to another word he has to say about the matter. Matthias. Tapping his face. Commander, they want us to, to, to fight with each other. This is just their way of trying to separate us, to make us fight within our own alliance. We can't let them part our, our, our alliance like this. We can't let them separate us and fight amongst ourselves. Our war is out there, with the, not here amongst each other. Greymane is alliance. Now, what happened in Gilneas... That's in the past. What we need to focus on now is our war front towards avenging Teldrassil. And we never avenged Gilneas. Hmm. Funny how you just focus on your people and not the bigger picture. Someone has to focus on the Kildore. What's left of my people? Quiet, yeah. all of you. Matthias Shaw speaks up. If your king came in here, Mara, and ordered you to do something, 
would you do it without hesitation? Without, without question. You, um, I, I pledge my unfailing loyalty to Anduin and the Alliance. Matthias. From this day until the day I die. You see Matthias reach into a drawer. Pull forward a scroll. And places it flat on the table. It reads... Master Shaw. I enlist you to find out why... The portals in Teldrassil were not used for evacuation. <clears throat> I suspect Horde involvement, but would not hesitate to think that someone on our side may have had a hand in this. Please. Be careful with this information. Underneath the seal of the Alliance, High King, Anduin Rin. This is an order from your king, is it not? Yes, sir. Would you forsake the word of your king in your bloodlust for the Horde? No, sir. Matthias sighs. He reaches back into his drawer, pulls forward a quill and ink, removes a stamp, lights a candle, begins writing furiously. He then grabs the a stick of wax begins to melt it so it pours over the piece of parchment. He removes it, he takes a stamp, he holds the piece of parchment out to Mara. This will allow you into any doorway in the Alliance. Doorway, sir? Whether I it... take the parchment. Do you look at it? No, well, he, he stamped it. Yep. Okay. Uh, but not like sealed it shut, it's right? Not, it's not sealed. It's just stamped. Okay, inside. I, I I take it and I I look over it and I say Door doorway, sir. Inside what you is... read. I Matthias Shaw hereby appoint Hammerstein and Mara to the highest rank of SI seven and grant them all the privileges mm -hmm. therein. Sir. Sir, I just told you that Hammerstein could very well be a spy. And you give him the same rank as me? Hey, if I was a I spy, I... why wouldn't I strike you down when you were in your drunken stupor last night? Cool. An easy target. <laughs> you know? <laughs> you were out cold. You were snoring like a lumberjack. Out in Goldshire. Sir, I am 1,250 years old. There is no way that I overslept. I have never done so in over a thousand years. Something was put in my drink last night. And I guarantee you it's this little blue creature below me that did it. I was talking with the guards. 
He drugged me so that Enough. I would be late today. Enough. Matthias. Holds out his hand. Do you question the order of your commander? He looks at Mara. No, sir, but you send me on a mission with someone that I cannot trust, someone that has snuggled up to the bosom of Sylvanas herself in the... I send you on a mission with someone that is looking at it from a different side. That's what I send you on. We are I... not neutral, sir. We are alliance. I pay my agents to think. This is an alliance issue. I need you to be thinking outside of the box, agent. Do you understand me? Yes, sir. If, 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 and let's just say it's the impossible. And Shaw looks to his desk, and let's say it's Greymane. We need to keep this quiet. Do you understand me? Of course, sir. You are to question. You are to find answers. That is what we do. If you need to, if it's your survival, you have your skills. So Greymaid is not just going to answer this kind of accusation if we show up on his front door. Then why we go, need... to, then why go why to Greymane right of way? Who else can help us with his, his innocence in this? Matthias. Just himself once again. We need Gareth. Gareth is Worgen, sir. You bitch. Ah! <laughs> he knows that he's Worgen! Yeah, 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 yeah. I, he already knows who you are! Gareth is We're unavailable. We're trying to get you back in our party, you butt cheese. Gareth is unavailable. Unavailable, sir? You just said that he left. Do you, do you exactly. know where he is? I don't know where he is, Agent. Well, I can find him, sir. No matter. If you send me alone on a mission with this d this traitorous traitor death knight, I will probably not come back alive. He cannot be trusted. What we need to be doing is getting a mole and putting our mole in horde, like they're trying to do with us with Hammerstein. And that mole can find out way more than we can I can't impersonate a, an orc or a blood elf. We need someone that can get on the inside. Someone that's that's horde race, but alliance. I thought my head. <laughs> this is exactly what they're trying to do to us. We should do that to them. That will get us more information than sending another another night elf and 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 a, a death. We couldn't be more inconspicuous. Garrett, uh, Matthias slams the table. Enough! Connor. I have made a goddamn order. Do you disagree with it? You are no, to sir. think. You are to think, goddammit. I am thinking, and I'm trying to are you understand. Raising your, are you raising your voice to me? No, sir. Oh, yeah. I mean no disrespect, I'm trying to understand why you would put me on a quest with someone that I cannot trust. Matthias. I do not so question weak. your leadership, I just need to understand. I trust him. Why? What has he ever done to earn your trust? Done more than you, clearly. Two people walked in here just now. One fed me 
what I wanted to hear. The other one fed me what I needed to hear. That's why I trust him. I trust you too. But I think you're blinded by rage. It is time for you to figure out exactly why this has happened. You have a lead. You have a thread. It is time to start pulling on it. Do you understand me, Mara? Yes, sir. I will carry out your orders as you say, sir. You will have another joining your party shortly. Sir? He looks forensic. Dismissed. I nod and exit. Obviously still furious. And as the party exits, thus ends. <laughs> what? You're killing me! Hulk! Look at me. Mm. I, can't, I can't look at you. Not we can't see you. Yeah, it's okay. There he is. Oh my God! What? You're all bros and vegan. Oh, yeah. Oh my I was God, ready for this. Eat your ass for okay, that. it's not over. He did not just what? do all that makeup for all that. Oh my God. <laughs> we end from our main party. All right. And then. Do you need me? Fine. Because I really no. have to pee. Go pee. Okay, I'll be back. Party. I'll be right back. We. I'm gonna start cleaning up around. We turn, we turn to <laughs> the battered and bruised Gareth. The prison of Stormwind. We find Gareth in shackles, beaten. <laughs> in, in a cell. Inside, he hears a snort. <laughs> <laughs> Fancy finding you here again. I squint my non swollen eye. Is the sour thing? <laughs> You're a spit. <laughs> you can call me the might of Kalimdor if you wish. Oh, yes. Such a simpler name. <laughs> How long have I been here? A few hours. Not long. Well, I'm surprised you're still down here. Where am I going? <laughs> Home soon. Home. You hear a sigh. I... Uh, there is no home for me now. Well, that's unfortunate. And what of you? Well, as you say, Look, Taro Gar, <laughs> a sour thing. And as I smile, my features begin to shift. And Sour Fang's smile starts to fade from his face. What are you? I'm your only chance out of here. And all I need is your axe. Sarfang looks down 
a look of despair crosses his face. Then you see his brow furrow, heavy breathing. You hear a snarl escape from him. He looks up at you. Look, Narosh! Which means, what does that mean? Ar- means arm yourself. My smile widens, and I pull the chains to their extent. They begin to groan under the force of my changing form. And however you want to call it, help. If you want to say it's there, or... <laughs> I just wanted that. And the bestial form appears. And a laugh escapes Varrock Sourfang's lips. And there we have it. The end of chapter 8. Wow. The dagger of I heard none of that because I didn't want to hear an echo and I had Xavier muted, so I heard none of it. <laughs> We're going to have to. Good. Stay... You'll have to watch we'll the VOD. Watch the yeah. VOD. Yeah, I just had to, you know, skip to the end. All right. Watch like the five minutes of it. Thank you all for uh, uh, sticking around. All but... I heard was Lurk in a rush in form, so <laughs> something's going down in the, in the dungeons. We will, but we will, we'll, we'll talk about it in a minute. Yep, we yeah. will return next week. I better talk about it. God and damn we will talk about this in a minute. But uh, for the rest of you, thank better. you all so much. I'm going to mute the main party Shut for you a up, moment. Bombinos. I hope you all have a great week. Take care. Um, we will be back Tuesday. Um, same time, same place. Enjoy yourselves. Have a great week. And... I will go to the ending screen, and you will get this.